welcome back to the channel guys my name is Aisha if you're new would love it if you subscribe uh, today I'm doing a classic OG Aisha video I'm doing a chatty get ready with me because I realize it's been so so long since my last like sit down makeup video and I've been getting so many requests to show like what my current routine is and like the white eye dot trick and all of that so I figured let me film my makeup routine for you guys. I got my Happy Looks Good On You merch on. I've been seeing all of you guys, or a lot of you guys, get your orders and it makes me so, so excited. It looks so good on all of you and it just, it seriously is like the best part of launching something, just like seeing all of you guys in it and loving it. By the time this video goes up, I feel like the chocolate brown like mini restock is already sold out, but we will be having a full restock of the brown crew necks. I'm hoping, I'm kind of in chats with my manufacturer, but I'm hoping that we can have everything ready to go by like the end of this month or the beginning of July to mid-July, so stay tuned. But the bucket hats have been restocked, so if you wanna check that out, I will have the link below, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys can get some bucket hats for the summertime. Um, to get started, I did prep my skin, and I feel like that's important to share because obviously skin prep is important. Um, I actually use the new uh, Hailey Bieber skincare line, Road, and I've been really enjoying this, especially their uh, Barrier Restore Cream. I feel like their serum, like I could live without, but their Barrier Restore Cream is actually really, really nice. So I used that as a moisturizer today. And then what I did, I actually saw this on TikTok. A chemist was saying like, according to the ingredients, you can actually put this on top of like your moisturizer and then it'll give you that like glazed look to the skin. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more on because it's been about an hour since I did this. You guys see it just kind of like leaves your skin really glowy so i like that i also dermaplane for the first time yesterday so my skin is like extra smooth right now which i love um i've never dermaplane before um which is basically like shaving all the peach fuzz off your face but i need to start doing it more often because i just love the results i feel like my skin looks super super clear and just like super smooth so i'm excited to put on makeup i haven't put on makeup since i did dermaplane so this is gonna be fun i'm gonna put my glow screen on now i think i shared this in my last vlog or something but i've been really enjoying it so this will just be like my sun care for the day and it also adds like a nice glow to the skin. I feel like the most important part about this makeup that I've been doing lately is the skin, like making sure it looks really glowy and smooth and just healthy. So I've been enjoying the Super Goop Glow Screen because of that. As I blend this out, actually I'm gonna mix a little bit of this primer. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. This is like one of my go-to primers. This is what the skin is looking like before any product. It's so beautiful. This is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. And it's like, um, it kind of reminds me of like Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask with just a little bit more glossiness, but in a tube. So it makes it easier to apply. I actually really like it. I feel like she did a really good job with this formulation and the salted caramel one smells and tastes so good. Not that you should be eating your lip gloss, but I mean, it is on your lips and if it tastes good, I'ma lick it. My brows still is like one of the longest parts of my routine, but I feel like I've shared how to do my brows in so many videos. I also have a whole TikTok on it, so I'll link that if you guys wanna watch. But the only different thing that I've been doing is I've been applying, I've been applying clear brow gel first and then I finish off with it as well. But I just feel like doing this gives the brow gels that I use something to hold on to, like a little bit of grip. So I'm still using the same e.l.f. brow gels in deep brown and then brunette. While I do this, I also want to give a little shout out to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. You guys know I've been working with BetterHelp over a year now. They are just such an amazing service for mental health and it just kind of makes it more accessible to get therapy, get the help you need and help manage your you know, mental health. I know firsthand it can be really difficult just managing your mental health, especially if you don't know where to begin. So that's why I always love to recommend BetterHelp. It's something that really helped me in a time of need. And what it is is BetterHelp's a customized online therapy that 
offers video, it offers phone, um, even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't actually have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I know that was really daunting for me. So I just opted for the phone chats and honestly, I still got a great experience out of it. And there's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's over 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not actually be available in your area. BetterHelp is available worldwide. So you don't have to limit yourself to just the therapist in your own city. Um, it really just kind of broadens the range for you. So I really appreciate that. You just fill out a questionnaire and it helps assess your specific needs. And then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Um, then all you have to do is secure your video or phone sessions. And then you can also exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential, which is extremely important. You can also request a new therapist at no additional charge, like literally any time. So many people use BetterHelp that they're currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states of the US, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, we love to see it. We'd love to see, you know, better help growing and continuing to just help change people's lives. So if you feel like it is finally time to start your therapy journey, you can join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with better help. And you can use my code, um, or actually the link. If you go to www.betterhelp.com slash Aisha, that is better help better H-E-L-P, not health, um, you can get 10% off your first month of therapy. So I will have that link in the top of my description. Um, and then, yeah, let me know if any of you guys have tried therapy before, um, if you've tried BetterHelp, what your experience has been. And yeah, thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring. My brows are complete. This is what they look like. I feel like I filled them in a little bit more than I normally do. But I actually really like how they look. Okay, time for foundation. I don't use foundation, I use skin tints, and these are the two that I've been using. I wanted to show both of them because this one doesn't really come in an in inclusive shade range, more on like the light end. This is like made by black girl for black girls, but it's the Ami Cole um, Skin Enhancing Tint. I use the shade Deep One, and this is the greatest of all time, truly. Like this is my favorite skin makeup product to ever exist. It's so, so good. I've been talking it for, about it for years now. This is the new Yves Saint Laurent uh, Bare Look Tint. Bare Look Tint, sorry. I'm trying to get all French here and I'm reading it wrong. But this is what it looks like and I use the shade NU18. I used 17 as well. I feel like the formulas are slightly different. This one's definitely a little thinner than this one, but I feel like it gives a very similar look to the skin and this one comes in a lot of lighter shades. So I just kind of wanted to share that real quick, but I will probably just use my Ami Cole because that's what I always do. Um, so I like to use my hands and I just feel like for flawless skin hand application just looks the best so I literally just put it on like a moisturizer and um, yeah I go to town and I just kind of like I pat and I swipe and I kind of just do whatever to make it look like you know it's just like part of my skin but this is what the product looks like I feel like the best tip for makeup especially in the summertime is to use a shade that is like almost like point five shades darker than you. I just feel like by the time you put your powders and your concealer and everything, a darker foundation just looks so much better. It makes your skin look a lot more clear as well. I don't know how to explain it, but just try it and the girls that get it, get it, basically. So yeah, this one is dark number one. Deep two actually matches me a little bit better. So if you're around my shade um, and just want like an exact shade match, then I would go with deep too but again this is also only available in the u.s which is why i needed to share the ysl one because yeah unfortunately you can't really get ami Cole everywhere it's kind of hard to do this with a hijab on which is half the reason why i don't really do makeup videos anymore it's seriously just a struggle y'all it's just a struggle and i'm trying to figure out how to do it better but it's just always going to be a struggle but this is how it makes my skin look it genuinely just makes it look like porcelain like it is so beautiful i'll show you guys the consistency of the ysl one i actually have a reel on my instagram if you guys want to see like the actual application it is very beautiful so yeah um if you're looking for something similar this is what it looks like now that i actually put it on my hand i guess the texture is very similar the textures are honestly almost identical i just feel like maybe the ysl one is just slightly thinner but 
I'm gonna just put it on my face anyways. <laughs> I must say, makeup is looking really good now that I've dermaplaned. My skin, I mean, I don't really mind my peach fuzz, but I definitely notice it when I'm like applying makeup and like putting setting powder and stuff. I just feel like you can really see the peach fuzz. And when I'm filming in like golden hour light or like direct sunlight, you can really see it. Like I've gotten comments on it before. I really like how makeup is applying right now. I kind of just keep patting until it looks super blended. I don't like using brushes or beauty blenders or anything for this part, just cause I feel like it genuinely just looks the best when you use your fingers. So that is what the skin is looking like. Super just skin-like. I mean, it just looks like my natural skin, but more even. So lately I've been applying my cream blushes before I put concealer on. I kind of do it before and after, but this is the one that I've been using probably over the last week. Um, the main one that I've been using is by Westman Atelier, but recently I've started using this one and I really like it. It's the Ilia Affine Romance Multi Stick. And the way I like to apply it is just by like rubbing my fingers in there. I feel like when you go like this, it kind of just like swipes your foundation off. So I just kind of warm it up in these two fingers and then just gently tap it on my cheeks. And I like to apply a lot because by the time you put on like your concealer and powder and stuff, it kind of blends away. If you put a lot on, it just like ends up looking like perfect. I really like this formula. It has like shea butter and stuff. So it's very emollient, but it also leaves like a really beautiful, like healthy glow to the skin. I've been trying to like get into using slightly more like clean beauty products on my skin. Just like the more research and stuff that comes out, it just like, it really makes sense if you're gonna be putting on makeup. It's basically the same as skincare. Like if you're using clean skincare, whoops, you might as well be using clean makeup. So if you guys have any good clean beauty recommendations, let me know. I really like Ilia, but I'd love to try more out as well. I also do like to put some on the tip of my nose. Now for concealer, I've been using a couple different ones. I usually use Amicole. I have a deeper one, but I don't know where it is. So I just have the lighter version over here. It's the same brand as the Skin Tint and it's just as incredible to be honest. The other one that I've been using a lot um, is this Liss Beauty Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. This is also another black owned brand, um, but it's actually available at Sephora and it is clean beauty as well. And I use the shade DN3. And then for more like full coverage concealer, like say if I'm going out to an event or something, I use this one, which is the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I really, really like the new formulation. I feel like they did a really good job on it. And I use the shades uh, Crumble and Praline. So I think today, I mean, I don't really need like a super full coverage concealer. So I think I'm gonna actually go with the Liss Beauty and then also the Ami Cole. So this is how I like to apply concealer. I like to take a deeper one first and apply that in my inner corner. This concealer is so good if you guys haven't tried it yet. And then I kind of put it over there as well. And then before I blend it out, I also take the lighter concealer and I kind of put that like right over top. So right there, one little stripe there. And then I also take the lighter one only and I put that down my nose for a little snatch moment, a little on my chin and right there as well. I'm actually gonna put the darker ones around this as well so it's not too pale. And then I usually do use a brush for this, but all my brushes are dirty. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be using this beauty blender. This one's by Real Techniques. And I like to blend out just the concealer down the center first. And I leave the under eyes to last. While I wait for this concealer to set a little, I'm gonna take a cream contour. This one is by Westman Atelier in the shade Ganache. And I'm gonna just apply a little bit of that. Now, I'm gonna blend out my under eyes. 
Honestly, sometimes I blend it out right away and sometimes I let it sit. It all just kind of depends on how late I am <laughs> to something or like how much time I want to spend on my makeup. But I feel like if I do let it sit a little bit, it kind of gives me a little bit more coverage without having to add more product and make it look cakey. And then I like to kind of bring it up this way to kind of give my face a little bit of a lift. Okay, at this point, I like to add a little bit more blush if I feel like it's kind of fading away. So I just put it on the flat side of this beauty blender. Just press that wherever I want some more blush. And I feel like it just also just blends the concealer in with the rest of the face, you know? I'm gonna take my powder. This is the Laura Mercier powder. It's just like the bigger one because I think this was like their anniversary collection or something. And I like to take it on a brush. So I'm just kind of setting everywhere that I put concealer. I set my under eyes twice, so I'm gonna do this one first and then I'll show you guys a little later what I do to kind of make everything look airbrushed. And then I take a beauty blender with that same powder and I kind of drag it down my nose to kind of snatch it a little more. To set the rest of my face, I use the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder, which looks like this. And I use the shade 60 Ebony. This is like, the best setting powder for your face. I just feel like it makes it look airbrushed and it doesn't make it look like you actually have powders on. So that's why I really like it. I think like something about the baked formula, like the mineral formula, it just kind of like sets your skin, but like not a matte, it's like a multi-dimensional matte, if that makes sense. And this is available in Canada. I always get questions. I think the name is slightly different and the shade names are also slightly different, but it is the same product. I try to like avoid my cheek area just to keep it like nice and glowy, like how it is. I'm gonna bronze a little with the Gucci bronzer. You guys know the drill. This has been like my favorite bronzer for over two years now. And I'm just going to kind of like pat it because since I have that cream blush on, it might um, lift if I try to put the powders over it like that, like swipe, so I'm just gonna pat. This will just lightly bronze the skin. We already kind of used that contour before, but this just kind of like makes it look a little bit more bronzy. And then I just kind of like pinch my brush and bring it down the sides of my nose as well. The Gucci bronzer just fell. Just gonna stamp this powder on my nose away. To really get that like airbrushed under eye look, I use this powder over here by Makeup Forever. It's their matte velvet skin. Um, and this is the shade that I use. Y, what is that? 375. It's a lot lighter, obviously. Like, <laughs> it's not even on the same scale as me, but this is the secret. Especially if you have, um, I don't even know, it's like hollow under eyes. Like I personally have like hollow under eyes. They're not necessarily bags, it's just how my eyes are. But this I just feel like fills them in somehow or I don't really know what it does, but it just makes your under eyes look flawless basically. So that's why I like to do this. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell the difference. Like it's not as hollow looking over here than it is here. It just looks a lot brighter. This routine is basically how to make it look like you're not wearing powders when you're wearing like the most powders. Like, <laughs> and because it is powder, it actually lasts a really long time in the heat. Um, if you don't want to get the Makeup Forever one, which I still suggest you do this, the Studio Fix by MAC Studio Fix powder would also work for this. I just feel like this one looks a little bit more like velvety. Hence the name Matte Velvet Skin. The blush is still peeking through, but sometimes what I also like to do just to make it even look more rosy is I take this palette over here by Makeup Forever, or sorry, by Sephora Collection. It's the Micro Smooth Captivate Multitasking Baked Face Palette. That is a long name, but basically it's the same formula as like the other powder that I used on my face, like this one. So it gives that same almost like blurred look to the skin. So I take these two blushes over here. 
Um, and this palette's super affordable, by the way. But this one is more of like a matte ish powder and this one has some shimmer it's like a shimmery highlight blush and I take both of them and I just kind of like mix my brush around in there and then I lightly just kind of like tap that on my cheek I just feel like it gives a really pretty effect to the skin I also take this on my nose the bridge of my nose like it just looks so good on deep skin tone like this blush is stunning and then I'm just taking that same brush that I used earlier with no additional product, just like whatever's on it. We're almost done with the base here, <laughs> I promise. But I like to take this as my highlight. This is by Westman Atelier as well. And it's their Lit Up Highlight Stick in the shade Brulee. And I like to take this on my Beauty Blender again. I'm actually gonna use, I like to use like the rounded side of the Beauty Blender, so I'll just take a clean side over here. And I'm just gonna swipe a little bit of that product on. And this is what gives the skin almost like a wet look, like almost like you're not wearing makeup because you look so glowy and glossy. So I take it like that. I know it looks a little bit dark, but it just works for deeper skin. And then I just gently tap. And you wanna do it very, very gently because you are obviously wearing powders and you don't want to like lift the powder underneath but you can just automatically see it just adds like a glossy look to the skin and i just kind of like move my face around and just apply that all over that is just my favorite part of this entire routine honestly i put a little bit on the tip of my nose as well and then sometimes i just kind of like dab it everywhere honestly but it just literally gives like a wet look to the skin. Like you guys know I'm not super into highlights because I don't like that shimmery look. I just want to look like this. This is the type of highlight that I want. Like, and that's what it gives. And super close up, like it doesn't even show as like shimmer or anything. It just kind of looks like a glow. Like you're naturally just glowing. So I absolutely love that. It's my favorite discovery of 2022 to be honest it's just oh beautiful so beautiful okay now moving on to the eyes the eyes are honestly super simple i just use one shade um from this one size palette this is honestly like the best palette it's by patrick stars brand one size and it's called the visionary eyeshadow palette i just feel like it has every single color you need including like a matte black so i really like that the main color that i use though is called soft serve so I just take that on a fluffy brush and I just kind of like stamp that on just to kind of give like a wash of color to the eyes. I used to do this with bronzer, um, which I actually like that look, but then I noticed like my eyes would always get irritated and then I realized it's because I'm using a product that's not meant for the eyes on my eyes. So I stopped doing that and I started using this and my eyes don't get irritated anymore. So if you are like me and your eyes, you know, easily get irritated, just make sure you're like thinking about what products you're using on there. Yeah, so I stopped putting bronzer on my eyes because of that. I'm gonna take that exact same shade just on a smaller brush and just run that under. And then I use this shade in the palette which is like a matte creamy ivory color and I use that in my inner corner. I like to color over my beauty marks which kind of get covered by makeup. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Brown Eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. You can use honestly any. I just feel like brown works a little better than black. It looks a little less harsh. And then it also looks like you just have makeup over your beauty marks because you put like brown makeup over it. So I just feel like it looks better. But before mascara and eyeliner and stuff, I like to go in with my setting powder or setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter vitamin c one i don't know how it really differs i mean it has vitamin c cactus flower water i just feel like this one sets it a little bit more glowy than the original urban decay all nighter so that's why i've been liking this Oof! it just like further intensifies the glow on the cheeks and the skin i just my favorite step um okay I'm gonna put on some eyeliner, just tight line, so that by the time I put on mascara, it doesn't look weird. Before I go on with mascara, this is the white eyeliner that I like to use for my little viral 
white dot thing if you guys have no idea what i'm talking about then go to my tiktok um i did a video on like white eyeliner dots around your eyes and and it somehow amassed like over 3 million views which is insane it's like my most viewed video on tiktok um so i thought that i would share it in a little bit more in depth it's super easy honestly you just need a white eyeliner this is the one that i like to use it's by makeup forever and this one's waterproof so i find it doesn't like flake off super long lasting but i'm gonna take that it's kind of like a look that like you can't hesitate you kind of just have to go for it and um, hope that it looks symmetrical. So I like to start at kind of like my lash line. Yeah, just kind of like where my lashes curl and extend. That's where I put my first dot. So I'm gonna start it like right over here. I like to make one dot slightly larger than the other one. So the first one is slightly larger like that. And then the one over top, I just kind of like go diagonal to it. Just make sure you like have a good goop at the end of your at the end of your um, brush. And yeah, that's it. So that's the first two. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but one is just like a tiny bit larger than the other one. This one's larger, this one's a little bit smaller. And then I do my inner corner. So I kind of just go like, I follow the length of my eyelid so it goes down and then I put it kind of like right there. Just like that. I feel like I put that in a place where I don't normally, but that's okay. Like I said, it's all just kind of like however you want it to look. I don't really have any tips to how to get it symmetrical. You kind of just practice makes perfect. It kind of looks symmetrical, right? Hopefully. And then for the last two, I just kind of basically put it wherever my mascara would naturally end. I just kind of place two dots over there and then one under. So I'm gonna do the ones under first because it's a little bit easier. And then just make sure your eyes are open when you're doing this, just in case you have hooded eyes. You don't want the dot to like go into your hooded eyes. So I just kind of keep my eyes open and then I see where I want to hit it and then I'll like close my eyes and do it. So yeah, and that's that. That's little eye dot um, trick. And people were asking like what it does. It doesn't really do anything. It just looks pretty. Um, I feel like it looks very captivating. Like I've gotten so many compliments on this, like more than I've ever gotten. People are just like, wow, your eyes, like they're almost like hypnotizing. So yeah, instead of just four dots, I like to do the two here. I feel like even three would look cool, but I feel like the more dots you do, the more like tribal it's gonna look. So I feel like two is like the best place to stop. So that is a little look that i've been loving for summer i'm gonna apply my mascara this is the ysl mascara um lash clash this is like seriously the best mascara i've used in a long time it's so freaking bomb i normally don't like high-end mascaras but this just like literally gives me a false lash look the only downside to this mascara which i will say is that it's really hard to get off like even with like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm or something, it is actually so hard to get off. I mean, it could be a good thing, like, you know, this is good to wear, I guess, if you're gonna be hot and sweaty, and maybe if you have issues with, like, mascara transferring usually, this will be one that's good, but, you know, if that's annoying to you, then just a heads up. Little comparison for you to see the before and after. And this is only with one coat. I usually go in with, like, a second coat, but it's like night and day, it's insane. All done. Look how pretty the eyes look. Like I don't think I will ever stop doing this whole white eyeliner dot thing because I just feel like it just looks so good. Like it looks so good. I just can't stop. Anyways, moving on. Lip balm, or sorry, lip uh, liner? What the hell, why am I forgetting how to speak? I either use this one or MAC Chestnut. I just found this in one of my bags that I haven't worn in a while and I got really excited. But this is the Makeup Forever Artist color pencil. This is like one of my favorites. It's in Limitless Brown. I'm just gonna line my lips. The gloss that I usually use, this is a Sephora Collection glossed lip gloss in the shade Boss. Um, it's just a clear gloss, but I'm gonna use this one today um, from Rode. There we go. But this is just their lip gloss in Salted Caramel and it tastes so good. I think technically it's like a lip mask slash like hydrating lip product, but it really does go on like super glossy. 
And that, my loves, is the entire makeup look. That is what I have been doing on the regular. Just like take a moment to appreciate this skin. Like it is just so glowy from all of the products that I use starting with the base products and then obviously I think the star of the show is just this guy over here. And then also the Ilia blush. Like these two together just leave the most stunning glow and like gloss to the cheeks. I just am obsessed and like from every corner and it looks like this in person. Like it looks this flawless in person. So it's a little up close action for you to see the skin, the juicy lips. Oh, this road gloss. If there's one thing you get from the collection, either the moisturizer, which I absolutely love, um, or the gloss. The gloss is actually a no brainer. Like you need the gloss in your life. It is so beautiful. But I am going to end this video over here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna list all the products. YouTube has this new like product tagging feature. So I've been like tagging any products that I mentioned throughout the video in there. So you can kind of like shop directly um, or I will have the links to the products in my description box as well, whichever is easier for you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this look. If you try it out, definitely tag me on social media. I would love to see it actually. If any of the TikTok girlies want to like recreate this and tag me, let me know because oh, it's just the look of the summer. Like fresh, glowy, beautiful, flawless skin, glossy lips, this like whole eye thing. It's so simple. Like that's why I feel like I love it so much. It's literally so simple. Like it looks like you tried hard, but you really didn't. It's just five dots around your eyes. So absolutely love it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and would like to see more beauty videos. Um, get your happy looks good on you merch before it's gone forever. Let me know if you have suggestions, if you have like recommendations that you guys would like me to share or other makeup looks that you guys would like to see. This is kind of my go-to, so I don't really have that much to offer you. When I like to get a little spicy, a little crazy, I will put this lime eyeliner in my waterline and it just kind of like adds a little pop of color but that's kind of as experimental as i get but um yeah i'm gonna go this has been very chatty i love you guys and i will talk to you in my next video bye everyone Mwah.